Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Update on the forecast, especially as we get ready for the Big Panthers draft party in Uptown. I would plan for rain right now. That is the story. We've got more scattered showers moving across the area today. They should become more scattered as we get into the afternoon and then pick back up late tonight. So if you're going to be doing anything outside, you got to plan for a passing shower. Probably not as widespread as the rain we saw yesterday, but you could see there's actually more rain on the way, especially as we get into tonight and early on Friday. In fact, I think the heaviest rain is going to arrive as we go into tomorrow morning, so early in the morning. Let's look at the severe weather outlook here. I'm going to turn off the satellite data here. Um, you can see where the severe weather risk is today, low and medium risk to our southwest. But as we get into tomorrow, that risk is going to spread up into the Carolinas. You can see most of our area under that low risk for severe storms on Friday. The good news is Saturday, we should be completely free of any rain. In fact, that looks to be the best day of the week. So let's get into that future cast. All right, let's dive right into this future cast here. So this is what's going to happen as we go through today. You can see more rain on the way. It's initially scattered, so early today, probably light stuff. Now we're getting towards 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. You can see most of the heavy stuff moving into the mountains and foothills. But as we get later into the evening after 7, 8 o'clock, we could see another band of heavy rain moving up from the south. So 10 o'clock tonight, oof, some heavy rain. That's why I said the earlier tonight, the rain will be more scattered. The later, it gets much heavier. But you can see all of that rain moving up from the southwest. We go into the overnight hours. There could be waves of downpours, even thunderstorms. Early in the morning tomorrow, could see a couple strong storms as a warm front pushes through. And then during the day tomorrow, the warm front's actually gonna be in here. So imagine the warm front is in here. The cold front is still way back to the west. We could see some pop-up storms for Friday afternoon, but all in all, Friday, once we get past the morning hours, it's much more isolated. You see the isolated storms developing um, as we go into the afternoon. Some of these could be strong, though. Got to watch these as we go into 5 o'clock Saturday or Friday afternoon. Let's go as far out in the future as we can here. We'll go towards Friday night, getting closer to Saturday morning. We get into Saturday morning. I'll stop it at 8 a.m. We're actually in between systems. So Saturday, we actually get a nice break near 80 degrees. The next storm coming in for Sunday. This is Friday's weather here moving out. So Saturday, the best day of the entire weekend, but I'll loop this. This is a 48 hour loop here. Rain and storms tonight into early Friday, a lull Friday afternoon into Saturday, and then more rain as we go into Sunday. So if you're going to the Panthers watch party tonight, I would bring a poncho, have a backup plan for rain because there's certainly gonna be some around and it gets heavier the later we get so after the pick's over, I think a lot of people will be running for cover.